Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my February favorites for 2015. Just to let you guys know, this February I did not have a lot of items that I love or like very much because of the fact that I went to California for a funeral. If you guys have not seen my vlog about it, I will put it right here so you guys can click it up there so you guys can check out check it out if you guys would like. First off, I'm not gonna start with my makeup product. I just have been loving the Super uh, 79, the BB Cream VIP Gold Collection here. I got this one um, probably like last year ago and I only have been using for a couple months since I use them and then I stopped using them because I have tons of, of you know, other BB cream that I could definitely use. But then I went back to this one because as you guys know, it's winter here in Minnesota. If I have not mentioned enough that my skin has just been so dry, so nasty, crackly, dry, patchy, whatever you guys can think of. And uh, I was just have been having a lot of difficulties trying to find the best BB cream, foundation, whatever just to put on my face. And this one, it just glide my face. It just glide right onto my face. Uh, it just give me a smooth. It does not give me dry patches or anything such and such like that. So I've just been loving this one. And I will just give you guys a quick swatch here. Uh, this is how it looked like right here. This is not this is not what I'm wearing right now. Right now I'm wearing the Maybelline uh, Dream Wander foundation, which I mentioned in my uh, January favorite, and I'm just blending it out as you guys can see. I hope you guys can see. And uh, most of these Korean BB cream they do have like a, the grayish undertone, so you know just. Just to tell you guys before, but I do not mind the grayish undertone because I feel like the grayish undertone gives you a really nice white. Yeah, I have a really, I have a nice smell. I, I'm sorry, I'm just going all over the place because I just suddenly have a nice smell. It just smells like lotion. If you guys have tried the curl lotion, C R E U L, I think that's how I do. Uh, I use that lotion all the time, and it just smells like that. It smells like lotion. Oh, it smells so nice. It just smells like lotion. Um, as you guys can see here, comparing to my other hand, this one is the one with the baby cream. This one is the one without. If you guys can see the difference, this one is a very nice, more glossy look on it. And uh, it does, it covers, it gives you a nice coverage and it start and it whitens my skin a little bit. I don't mind the whole whitening thing because I know that Korean, they really love the whole whitening thingy. And I'm just starting, just to tell you guys, I'm just starting to love the whole whitening thingy. So I'm probably going to buy more product that white to my face. I absolutely do not know why I'm starting to like that kind of thing. But if you, uh, you could just tell the difference that my hand is just really dry. I don't really put lotion on it, but I should. Uh, this hand is really dry and this one gives me a very moist. Uh, it moistens my skin a little bit and does have the gray undertone, but oh well. And I just really love this BB cream. The next BB cream that I really love and it's what I tried during my trip in California. If you guys are not see, I did a first impression on the Tony Moly uh, Aurora BB cream. I will link it right up there so you can see my first impression. I do not have the product with me because as you guys know and you see my vlog, I just use a little sample pack that I brought with me and I got those sample pack while I was buying like Korean products online. And um, I have not tried using that one because just the fact that it was an sample pack and I was really not much interested in sample pack kind of items but I use them because I was on a trip and blah 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 and I didn't want to bring all of my um, you know big full size products so I just brought the uh, sample free sample thingy and I brought it with me I used them did a first impression on it I just totally love the Tony Moly BB cream and I will buy the full size product and I will definitely use it 
um, I went to the site and I was looking through it and uh, I thought that it was a light to medium coverage BB cream but I look at the site and they said it was a full coverage BB cream. I was like, what? The full coverage? I was just so excited. I, I was like, OMG. I did not know that there was a full coverage BB cream. But it, on the site, it did say full coverage BB cream. And um, if you guys see my vlog, I did say that on me, it looked like a full coverage BB cream. Or maybe on the description box below, on the vlog video, I put it that um, it gave me a full cover, full coverage. And uh, it wasn't, it didn't look like light to media coverage to me, but uh, it was give my face full coverage and I love it so much. Go ahead and check the vlog out. I would recommend checking that vlog out so you guys can see the whole first impression kind of thing, blah, 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 if you guys were interested in it. The uh, next item I have is this cup right here. This is uh, a mug I got from part of my Valentine after sale haul. If you guys have not seen that video, I will go ahead and link it up there below so you guys can see. I mentioned this in my Valentine after sale haul. And uh, this is just really cute. This is 100% silicon. And uh, well, this is silicon and this is glass. So you just have to be careful not to drop it or else it will just break in half. And uh, I do have some water in here. So I'm just not gonna show you guys the inside of it, but it's kind of quite hard to close. So you have to make sure you close it properly like this right here. So you have to make sure that you close it properly so that it doesn't spill. And I really love this mug. I've been loving this mug in the February since I bought it in the Valentine's sales after sale haul. And I really love this mug. So I would recommend, you know, getting any mug for you guys just for drinking purposes, you know. So yeah, I really love this mug. I have a cute heart on it. So yeah. Going on with the food, I found these hot Cheetos. Uh, these are not just any regular hot Cheetos. These are like very extremely hot hot Cheetos. Uh, as you can see, I ate half of it already. Uh, these are really good hot Cheetos. These are the Cheetos that are twice as hot. These are not regular hot Cheetos. Like I said, these are extra, extra flaming hot. I was just super excited that they are deciding to put, put these on stores now. Or as I see, I saw them at Target a while ago, but then uh, I just it seems I think they were out of stock of it. And then I got these from the local um, Asian grocery stores. These are from Golden Harvest. Um, they were selling it two for five, which is like what two fifty each. So I did not mind buying these at all. Uh, I love these so much. I love these more than the regular hot Cheetos because these are twice as hot and. Um, the original Hot Cheetos, they are good, but it's more on the cheesy side than the hot side, and these are more on the hot side than the cheesy side, so I would recommend these for anybody who loves hot stuff. And yeah, I'm not going to try it out for you guys, because if you guys have not listened to my throat, um, I have like a, like a sore throat or kind of like, you know, a frog in my throat kind of thing. So uh, I try. I'm best trying to avoid avoid to eat hot stuff or salty stuff or anything like that, so my throat can get better. So while well, I've been eating these for the past, uh, you know, a couple of days in February, so I just love these a lot. The next item that I've been loving is called churros. I went to California specifically for churros because. I just don't know. I just cannot find any churros in Minnesota or maybe I'm just looking at the wrong places to find churros. So if you guys live in Minnesota in the St. Paul, Maplewood area, go ahead and link down below or comment down below where I can find decent churros so I can eat them every single day. So the second thing I was going to talk about is the drama called Someone Like You drama. It's a Taiwanese drama that I've just been crazy about. It just so, I just don't know how to explain it to you guys. It's just been so like, just so good, so fantastic. Um, you guys can watch it on Viki.com, but since I am the one of those, you know, region kind of thing, that like, it's like you cannot watch it um, in the United States. But don't worry, I got you guys, Frangan. I got you guys. 
you guys can watch it on gooddrama.net and I will put it down below a link down below so you guys can watch it uh, it's just a very good drama. I would recommend for everybody to watch it. Everybody, guys, girl, kids, anybody. It's just really, really good. Uh, it, you guys probably just have to wait a little bit for the English sub. But uh, other than that, it's really, really good. It, they air on Sunday at 10 o'clock, I think. But um, I watch it after I'm done with the work at 2 o'clock. So right away after 2 o'clock, once I'm done with her, I go watch my dramas without English subtitles. If you guys could, you know, listen to Mandarin and you guys can understand it, then uh, go ahead. Uh, I will put the link down below where I watch my um, Taiwanese dramas. Thank you for watching my February favorite for 2015. Go ahead and click the red button down below and um, like my video, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I will put everything down below so you guys uh, know how to follow me and everything. So I hope you guys have a good, nice day. And yeah, see you guys all in my next video. Bye.